Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. All right, all right. It's Wayne with HalfTheFlip.com. It's Tuesday. I'm trying to get better into the groove. Um, didn't get down here right away. Uh, but there's a lot of system work still that was, uh, is to be done. So uh, I got a, some of that done. Worked that over. Uh, we did go to the thrift store yesterday. Um, didn't find a lot. Uh, I was going through the hard goods and um, kind of went through the mugs again. And uh, the funny thing is, is I was going through the mugs and um, my wife said, you know, that we hadn't even sold the last one I got. It wasn't five minutes later. And um, that nice uh, uh, mug that I had shown and took a picture of uh, sold 60 bucks. So that's awesome. A little $79, or 79 cent investment. Got $60 out of. I was really pumped about that. Um, it's gonna be my first time packing glass. So um, I've watched enough of you guys to know that um, double boxing is the way to go. So uh, I bought bubble wrap. I'm gonna wrap it, box it, fill another box full of paper, and uh, nestle that uh, in the middle of all that paper, and then ship it out. That goes out today. Um, sold some shoes today. Uh, definitely seeing a nice little trend of uh, stuff that I normally don't pick up uh, selling. So um, I like that now that I'm picking it up. So uh, it definitely gives me another um, uh, another chapter or another another uh, thing to look out for. Uh, when I go thrift, um, it definitely doesn't narrow my uh, field down to just clothing. So um, I haven't got into big electronics or anything like that. Um, I, I'm keeping with the smalls. The space is a little limited in here. Um, it might shift, it might not. Uh, more than likely not, because I'm gonna shift everything over to that second store and I'm gonna block the crap out of it. So I'm gonna need more space, I just don't know when. Um, adding in these other little details or these little uh, odds and ends is uh, fantastic. It's actually fun to go uh, try to find these hidden treasures and then um, to be rewarded uh, when they sell is even even better. So now when I went out, uh, we went north and I was hoping to find some, um, uh, it's, it's in the wine belt, so I was hoping to find either some wine memorabilia or wine labels. Um, of course, Cedar Point is really big up there. I was really hoping to find some, maybe some vintage uh, Cedar Point memorabilia. Didn't find nothing, nothing that was even worth anything. So um, we literally didn't buy anything except for like uh, toys for my baby. Um, so we went to the thrift store here by my house, which um, isn't anywhere near uh, any amusement park or uh, anything. Uh, Buckeye Lake, uh, the old amusement park was there, but that's been forever ago. But um, we did find uh, two pieces of vintage uh, Kings Island memorabilia uh, that's in Cincinnati, Ohio. So really pumped about that. Uh, looks like probably early to late 70s. Um, a mug and a mini um, plate. Um, so that was really cool. I found a, another um, uh, advertising mug from um, 1973. It was their 600th anniversary. Um, it's really cool. They're, that exact mug wasn't out there, um, but one uh, very similar from the same brand went for about $139. So super stoked about that. We're gonna try an auction just on it instead of putting it out there. Um, we'll see what it goes in the, in, in the seven days. I might actually throw it out there for 10 days just to put it out there longer. Um, so that's really cool. I was really stoked about that. Um, I didn't have any way really to look stuff up. I was just going off kind of memory and uh, enough stuff that I had read to go by. Uh, I did find one of the Avon pieces, the old like aftershave um, glass, 
bottles that they made. It was a, a paddle boat, um, not worth anything. Uh, it was a gamble. It was only 50 cents or 70 cents. I don't know what it was. Um, looks like you can sell them in a group, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Uh, maybe if I come across some more for that that price, I might be able to get 15 to 20 dollars out of three or four of them. So um, definitely not worth picking up for me because I gotta I gotta hoard it. But um, I, it looks like some of this stuff, um, when it comes to some of the littler pieces, you definitely have to. Um, some definitely seem to sell better as a group uh, than individuals. So you gotta figure out some kind of way to keep glass. So instead of just having the, the one shelf uh, to store on, I'm gonna have to have another shelf somewhere um, just to hold inventory that isn't listed yet until I get more of said certain items but it's all learning experience it's been really fun I'm super pumped to get these other ones out and before I rip down uh, my box uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of the uh, hard goods that I just bought yesterday and then uh, I bought like four or five pairs of jeans nothing major um, our our bin or our um, Goodwills do uh, half colored tags and 99 cent tags um, pants is about the same price as if I'm going to the bins and buying them. So uh, the one bins around us is $1.59 a pound. So it's actually cheaper to buy them at 99 cents than it is to buy them at the bins. Uh, and then of course if I go all the way to Dayton, which, uh, about 100 and some miles from here, um, it's like 50 some cents. Uh, a pound so it's a little cheaper but when you add the gas to get there and back um, if I'm not buying massive amounts of jeans there it's not really worth my while to, to, to buy a bunch so I'll buy those those medium mediocre jeans and then uh, I'll throw them on my second store just to have jeans in there uh, they're widely available for me here and uh, Although they're a pain in the butt to to, uh, to measure and everything like that, uh, they seem to move. So, so I bought some of those. Got a couple bras. Um, looks like I just went by um, what was selling, uh, by what size and what cup size. Um, the brands aren't that spectacular, but I paid a dollar. We'll see how they move. Um, it's something trying to get trying to get into a pattern where I'm actually looking for items rather than trying to find the whole store. So uh, that's what we did yesterday. Today we're gonna pack all this stuff up. It's gonna be interesting. Super excited about packing some new stuff and getting it out there. And um, tomorrow's probably about the same. We're just gonna do some system work. So uh, until tomorrow, guys. Later. Unfortunately. All good things have to come to an end, and here we are. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you subscribe. So until then, I'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Toodaloo.